Welcome to the Open Dental webinar on referral setup and managing incoming referrals. This webinar is going to be broken up into two parts. The first is going to be the setup, and in the setup we're going to talk about the referral list, how to identify the difference between a doctor, a patient, or a other type of referral. We'll talk about how to add referrals to the list, how to set a re default referral slip to a specific referral, and also how to set up your referral letter. The second part of the webinar will talk about managing your incoming referrals, how to add a referral to a patient, how to generate the referral slip, how to generate a referral letter, and then running the various referral analysis reports. Let's start off by taking a look at our referral list. If we come up to the top here and go to lists and then drop down to referrals, this will show all of our referrals. Across the top, I can search for a particular referral. I can show patients, doctors, others. I have the option to show only my preferred referrals. And then if I had any, have any hidden referrals, I can show those also. I can also select referrals by clinic. Let's go ahead and start uh, by adding a referral. I'm going to click the Add button. First off, I'm asked if the referral source is an existing patient. Uh, for the first uh, example, I'm going to say yes. And when I do, then a list of all my patients appears. And so this uh, referral is Raquel. I'm going to go ahead and select Raquel. Raquel's information populates here. And now when I click OK, Raquel is added as uh, one of my patient referrals. You notice that Raquel is marked as a patient here with this X. If I want to add a doctor, I'm going to come in and click Add. Is the referral source an existing patient? I'm going to say no. In this case, uh, I'm going to go ahead and add the name of the doctor. We'll say that this is Dr. Jones. And Dr. Jones is a DMD. First name Frank. And now here, there is a box, is doctor. I'm going to check this box. And now when I do, Dr. Jones here is listed as, uh, as a doctor. Lastly, let's, let's add a referral that is an other. Uh, maybe like uh, we have Google listed here, but maybe, um, maybe we had a radio ad and we, uh, we're getting a patient from a radio ad. I'm going to click Add. Is the referral source an existing patient? No. Here I'm going to put in radio ad. And I'm going to leave this is doctor box unchecked. And when I click OK, that will add radio ad in um, as an other. You can see here if I want to see all my patients, I can unselect doctor and other, and I get my patient referrals. If I want to just see my doctors, I can click on the doctor button. And if I'd like to see my others, I can click on my others. If I double click into one of these, you'll notice that down here toward the bottom left, there is this preferred referral. If I select that button, then later on, if I want to see only my preferred referrals, if I click this, only my preferred referrals will show. Open Dental will allow you to have custom referral slips for your different referrals. If I were to select Dr. Jones, down over here toward the middle right, I have the ability to select it, the default referral slip. Or if I have other custom referral slips prepared, I can select those. To create a custom referral slip, I'm going to go up to Setup, 
and then drop down to Sheets. I have the internal uh, referral slip here. I can copy this over to the custom side. And then here, if I double click on it, I can customize it. I can add a logo, I can change the fields around. When I click OK, that'll save the slip. I can also create custom referral letters. If I go again to Setup and down to Sheets, and this, this time I'm going to ref, uh, select the referral letter and copy that over. It appears over here on the custom side. If I double click into this, I can change this sheet however I like, change the fields around, add text, add a logo. When I click OK, that will save it. Let's move on now to managing incoming referrals. Once we have a patient selected and I have Braden Nolta selected up here, let's, uh, let's talk about how to add a referral to this patient. I'm going to go to the family module. I click in here. I'm going to drop down to the referral field. Right now I can see that there is a none here. I'm going to double click into this field. This brings up our referrals from patient window. Here I can mark the referral as being referred from, refer to, or refer custom. Refer custom is useful if you do not want to track or have a report on the referral. I'm going to mark this referral as referred to. If I click on here, then my referral list pops up. I'm going to refer this patient to Dr. Jones. So I'm going to double click on Dr. Jones. We're going to click OK and OK. Now the referrals from patient window will show that I'm referring to this to Dr. Jones. If I'd like to generate a referral slip, I come down here and click on the referral slip. This will select the particular referral slip that is associated with Dr. Jones. From here, I can add any notes I like. I could print this up. I could print an email. And now when I close, Dr. Jones is in the referred to field. If I'd like to print up a referral letter for this patient, I could come up here to Letters. I'm going to use the drop-down arrow that's next to the Letter button. And then I'm going to select to Dr. Jones. Here, if I have multiple referral letters, if I've customized some, I can select whatever, whichever referral letter I prefer. When I click OK, here, the referral letter will populate. I can add text as needed. I can email this. I can print it up. I can create a PDF. We have some built-in reports concerning referrals. If we go up to Reports and Standard, over in the List section, we have Referrals Raw, Referral Analysis, Referred Procedure Tracking. So the referrals raw, uh, what this report will allow you to do is this will allow you to write simple SQL queries uh, using fields in the referral table. If I double click on this, I can select different fields to display where, um, and then here are some conditions that you can set up. The referral analysis report. This analyzes the incoming referral count and production for a specific date range. I can enter a date range. I can specify particular providers. When I click OK, I will get the production for uh, those referrals in a particular date range. Lastly, we have the referred procedure tracking. This report, I can specify a date range. I can also specify if I want completed procedures or not. And this will show me all of the procedures that have been referred out to providers. Thank you for joining us for today's webinar. If you have any additional questions, please contact our support line at 503-363-5432 
or access our complete online manual at OpenThunnel.com. Make sure you're staying up to date on our latest training videos by subscribing to our channel and turning on notifications.